Hey everyone, it's Allegra Davis Hanna, and this is a quick video to make sure everybody understands entering grades into WebAdvisor. So a lot of stuff is blurred out on the screen, of course, because I can't show you my students' information, but I do want to show you a few things about this screen. So when you log into WebAdvisor in the faculty menu, and you go in to enter grades and you select your section, you're going to get this screen, you're going to see your students' names and ID numbers, and all that information will actually be visible. Um, any student who's a dual credit student is going to have this HS after their name. And that's just going to indicate to you that they're high school students, they're dual credit students. You don't have to remember who's who, it's going to identify them for you. So when you're ready to enter your final grades, you're going to have pulled up on another screen or, you know, next to each other, you're going to have pulled up your Canvas gradebook that's going to show you what the students earned in your class. Before you enter final grades, a very good reminder to just make sure you've checked your email, you've graded all the submissions in Canvas and everything looks right before where you enter these final grades. So you've got your gradebook in Canvas, you're ready to enter final grades here into WebAdvisor. You have a drop down for each student. I'm sure you've done this before. You drop down, you select the correct letter grade, A, B, C, D, for each student. Make sure each of these drop downs is filled in. It's very easy to overlook one or skip one over as you're moving through them. So just make sure everybody's got a letter grade showing in this column. And it needs to correspond, of course, to the grading scheme that you use in your course. For the students who are high school or dual credit students, you see this additional box next to the letter grade, and that's where you're going to enter the number grade. So you want to enter the number grade plus one decimal point. So if it's an 89.5, I'm going to enter 89.5. That information is very important for high school students because it is used to help them determine class rank and GPA. So very important, especially for our graduating seniors to have accurate information on their high school transcripts as well as the letter grade on their college transcript. So you only need to enter, and in fact, you only can enter number grades for those students who are enrolled in high school. And you see in this particular section, I have three dual credit students. So for all my students, I'm gonna enter number or letter grades. And for my three dual credit students, I'm gonna enter numeric grades. Once I'm ready and all that's done, I'm gonna make sure don't forget to hit submit once you hit that screen you're going to get a screen that tells you it was successful you can come back here to take your screenshot um, you may need to submit a screenshot of this whole screen don't blur anything out um, so that the documentation of each student's grade and it having been submitted is uh, submitted to the transmittal form. So I hope that helps you understand submitting final grades into WebAdvisor. Canvas will not send your final grades over automatically. You need to enter them yourself for each of your students. All right. Thanks, everyone.